going on, YouTube? Now, recently a subscriber asked, I am single and I hate it. How do I get out of the singles club? First off, insensitive bastard, how would I know? Bitch, you tell me! Out of all the questions you could have asked me, you're gonna ask the man who has been rejected by every single ethnicity on Earth. Hey, what's up, baby? What's your name? Hey, yeah, no, thank you. What the hell do you think you're doing? She's up in the civil when you're Don't touch me. Well, fuck it. Well, I'm not gonna tell you that being single is bad because I think you're young and it's not as bad as you think it is. Firstly, I think you're forgetting all the things that go along with having a serious and committed relationship. And no, that is not something that overweight, lonely Korean men say. <sighs> but y'all already know what it is. LGI, baby, let's get it. Let's go! Number one. When you're single, it saves you money. You wanna be in a relationship? You're young as shit. You ain't got money like that. Look at you trying to spend money on somebody else when you got $3 in your bank account and a bag of Skittles. <laughs> I'm not saying that you have to have a lot of money to have a girlfriend, but what I am saying is that when you have a girlfriend, somehow your money disappears. And I know what some of you ladies are gonna say. I don't need no man to pay for me, I'm independent. And see, that's what you say now, until you go on a couple date, and that dude across from you buys his girlfriend her dinner. Because the other dude be like, Baby, don't worry, I got this one right here. And then your boyfriend be like, Baby, we splitting this, but you gonna pay cash or card. Mm, whatever, broke bitch. The fuck? What'd I do? And you see, that's the problem right there, because some of you dudes be aiming way too high in the beginning. And you forget that every year, you're gonna have to top that. Baby, take this. This is an expensive watch. Oh my god, I love you. Mm, whatever, broke bitch. <laughs> the fuck what I do now? You know what you gotta do? You gotta make sure that everybody you hang out with is a degenerate and a piece of shit, so she has nothing to base off of. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This is exactly why I'm single. I, your definition of free time is solely going to be based on how she wants you to spend it. A real relationship is about compromise, and if you're young, that's already some shit that you already hate doing. For example, for those guys out there that have been in a real long committed relationship, you know that when you want to have a long time away from your girl, you want to spend it the way you want to, right? Wrong! <laughs> Here's some relationship science for you. In your free time, your amount of fun cannot exceed her amount of fun when you are without her. If you're out there having fun with your boys, and there might be some girls around that she don't know, and she's at home doing shit, you just might get your ass beat. Here's the right way to do it. Hey, what's up, baby? Man, you know I'm out here with the boys, and I'm not having fun and shit, because you're not here, obviously. <laughs> Love you, snickerdoodle. The wrong way. Baby, hello, now nah, you know I'm out here chilling with my boys, and I'm having the time of my life. I needed this. Mm, whatever, broke bitch. <laughs> the fuck? Be prepared to be criticized. That's right, you ever notice in the beginning of a relationship, the girl always tells you she loves everything about you? No, yeah, baby, I love you just the way you are. Don't change. And then she'll say all your negative traits in a positive way. Oh my god, baby, don't ever lose weight because I love your squishy belly. No, yeah, your clothes are your unique style. Swag, swag, swag. Watch what happens when you hit that six month mark and everything that she says to you will change, my friend. Oh my god, are you seriously gonna eat that? Oh my god, your titties are bigger than mine. You fucking look like a homeless person who shitted himself. Oh my god, you look like Oscar the fucking fat grouch. I'm not even lying to you, I once had a girlfriend who told me I was breathing wrong. How the fuck does that even make sense? You had nothing left to change so I can't breathe the way I want to? Fine, fuck it, let's play this game. I don't like the way you bleed. You know why I'm breathing wrong? Cause you're suffocating me. You took when you get into a serious relationship, just remember that you have to be willing to give up a majority of the single guy stuff that you used to do when she wasn't around. Now, if you're ready to give up that life, then it just might mean you're ready to be in a relationship. Now, if you want to be in a relationship just because of an age factor thing, like you feel like you're getting old, then you're probably not ready. See, age has nothing to do with it. It's a mental thing. Now, if you can't tell already, my relationship experiences have not been too uh, positive. I've been emotionally scarred. Am I lonely? Nope. I get to stay in my house, all alone, in my bed, for the rest of my life. It's good. Really good. <laughs> Don't need no woman. Just touch my face. Just woke up, what I miss? Smoke one up in the morning. Fell asleep with the TV on and had me dreams of being on Conan. Yeah, I'm zoning. Hit that shower with my new girl for an hour. For an hour. Fuck the neighbors last there is a huge difference in between you doing something because you have to and you having to do something because you want to. I did it. I said it. See, I remembered it. I don't know what it means yet, but baby, don't worry about this. I got it right here. It's a receipt, fuck. <laughs>